with the Steam Summer Sale starting a couple of days ago, I think it is time to go through what I think you should get if you have, of course, the money, and what I think is worth you buying. Now, of course, because this is a historical gaming-based channel, these will be loosely based around the historical genre. Yes, some of them may be in the fantasy realm, and we might be pushing it a little bit there, but they're all based around historical things and, you know, type of armors, swords, weaponry that have been used in history. So let's get straight into the video. At number 10 is a game you probably all know. This is Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Now this game is pretty old now, but it has a great combat system. It has still quite a good loyal fan base, but the combat system is really what makes it shine. Its brutal gore is well in there, making it stand out from other games of its type. This is 85% off this summer sale and it comes in at £2.84, so there's no reason why not to pick it up if you haven't already. It's a good game that if you haven't tried before but you like the look of, you might want to get into it and see what you think of it now, and even if you don't like it, you're not losing much whatsoever. At number 9, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is on sale at £3.19. Now yes, this isn't technically historical or medieval in so to speak that it's fantasy, but of course the Lord of the Rings world is based upon very medieval armors and weapons that were used at the time and I think a lot of people on my fan base are very interested in things like this and Lord of the Rings is one of the greatest films and books ever made. So this is a very good pickup if you haven't already, yeah it's very cheap at £3.19 or probably about 5 or $6 for you Americans. It's a good one to pick up if you haven't already, it's a good single player story and I've heard a lot of good things about this one. At number 8 is a very well known game series, this is the Witcher trilogy and yes there are very well known games because they are known for being DLCs that are like full games, that you get a full gaming experience out of it and the Steam Summer Sale is really promoting this game and I am very happy for it because of the success these games have had in the past. They are actually 65% off for the Witcher 3 trilogy. This is of course the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the Witch 3 and the Blood and Wine and things like that. It is on the Steam sale for £16.45. That is a great deal for such long gaming hours that you're going to get out of this franchise. At number 7 is something you might not have expected, but this is a game that is got a nice little niche. It's not a full octane action first person or an overhead strategy sort of thing. It's quite different in the way it plays, but I think it deserves to be on this list since, one, it is a great game. If you even look at some of the reviews on Steam, this is a great game and people really like it and I personally love this game. But it is going for an amazing price of $2.99. This is This War of Mine. It's going for $2.99 on the Steam sale for 80% off and like these games that are on the lower end of the £4 mark, you might as well get them if they're under £4. There's no reason not to pick them up if you have some spare cash lying around because these are great gaming experiences here. I'm only going to be recommending these games because I think they are definitely worth your money. At number 6 is one that I think a lot of you probably already have, but will definitely love to see on this list, and this is Skyrim Special Edition. Now, if anyone has played Skyrim, it is a great single player game. Yes, we would have loved to see some sort of co-op things in there, but it is a great single player game nonetheless. It's probably known as one of the greatest games in the past 10 years. And nonetheless, the Skyrim Special Edition improves upon it somewhat more, giving better graphics and all that kind of stuff in there. That is on the Steam sale list for 50% off at $14.99. Or if you are more of a Skyrim fan, if you're more of an Elder Scrolls fan, you can pick up the Elder Scrolls bundle for £74.50. Now you may think that's quite a lot of money, but the amount of gaming time you're getting out of this, I don't know if you could ever get through it. Probably in the next 5 to 10 years, there's so much gaming you can actually get out of that. And that is 50% off in the Steam sale. So it was around just over £140 if it wasn't in the sale. So it's very much a bargain picking it up at the moment at £74.50. That is the Elder Scrolls bundle. Number 5 is two games together. I'm putting them since they're in the same franchise. First one that I think I would recommend is Civilization 6. Now this is because this is the newer one of the Civilization franchise. And a lot of people have said they're not quite sure about it, but I really love this game. I find it very, very addicting. 
This is coming in at £29.99. Of course, this isn't very cheap. If you have a little bit more money, then this is probably what you're going to want to get if you're into the sort of strategy games like this. But it's 40% off. 40% off is a good deal at the moment. But if you haven't done it already, I definitely recommend you guys going and splashing out of five and picking up Civilization V for £4.99, which is 75% off. And Civ V is a great game. I absolutely love it. Now, the reason that I said probably Civ 6 more than Civ 5 is not because I like the game more, but because I think it will be attracted to more audiences because, of course, it's a newer game. But to be fair, Civilization 5 is an amazing game, and if you haven't picked it up already, that is an experience you are definitely missing. And it's $4.99. What have you got to lose? Number 4 is a relatively new game, hence why there's only a 20% discount on it. But the game was pretty cheap anyway, so you're only going to be spending £11.99 on this. And this is Blackweight. This is a really cool multiplayer pirate simulation game where you go around in your ship with multiplayer style, with your friends, shooting cannons, loading cannons, commanding orders and things like that, trying to take down enemy ships. I have done a video on it in the past, and I'm probably going to do more in the future as more updates come out. It's a great game, lots of fun to play if you have a group of friends. And at 11 99 if you and four other mates can pick that up, you're going to have a whale of a time, pardon the pun. Number three is something that shocked me, I think my jaw actually dropped when I saw the price of this game. For £3.74 you can pick up probably one of the best games in my opinion ever made, and this is Age of Empires HD Edition, Age of Empires 2 I might add. It is 75% off its original price, and there is nothing you can lose by spending £3.74. It is an amazing game, probably one of my favourite ever made, like I said. It's a great strategy game where you go through the ages gathering resources, levelling up your civilization until you get to the high-end troops and taking out any enemies. Multiplayer and single player alike, and you'll get a lot of gaming out of it. And at £3.74, there's not much you can really miss by that. At number two is one that I think a lot of people will be very happy about, and this is Total War. Now, the Total War games are all pretty much on sale, or at least the older ones are. Some of the new ones are as well. But I would definitely recommend picking up the Total War Master Collection. The reason for this is because it is pretty much every Total War game put together for a very cheap price of £24.99, so about 25 quid there. 75% off what it would originally be. And it includes all the Total Wars such as Medieval 2, of course there are some missing like Shogun 1 and things like that. But most of the core great ones are in there as well, like Medieval 2 Total War, Rome Total War, and that's the Rome Total War collection, so you get the Barbarian Invasion and the Alexander expansion, you get Empire Total War and then Napoleon Total War, you get Shogun 2, and you get the Fall of the Samurai for that, Viking Battle of Asgard as well. Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition is also in there. So there are a couple missing, but you're getting the majority of the Total War franchise, and I love that franchise. And for 25 quid, that is an amazing deal. And number one, of course, my fans will probably know this, this is the Mountain Blade franchise. Mountain Blade is such a great game, but because it's quite old, it is going for an incredible price. If you want to pick up the original Mountain Blade, if you're not too sure about the franchise, it's a good one to get started with. It is just the single player, but you can see how the kind of game mechanics work. This is going for £1.99. So, you know, that two quid you have in your back pocket that you normally go to the shop and spend on a packet of crisps. You might as well go and buy the original Mountain Blade and get hundreds and hundreds of hours of gaming time out of it. 75% off that is, but of course, Warband is also on there for 75% off with £3.74, which is an amazing deal also. But if you want more than that, if you want more gaming time on the Mountain Blade franchise, go and pick up the full collection for £8.74, also 75% off, and this includes the original Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade Warband, the D Napoleonic Wars DLC, Fire and Sword, and the Viking Conquest DLC as well. So you've got pretty much everything in there that you could ever want, and the amount of hours you can get out of that is insane. Mountain Blade Warband alone, I have 1.3 thousand hours on it, I think. The original one, I probably have some where towards 100 hours on it and things like that. It's absolutely amazing the amount of time you can get out of these games, and I definitely recommend you guys going and picking that up. But if you have any more ideas of games that you want to buy in the Steam sale, make sure you leave your list down below. But I'm going to be picking up a lot of games during the Steam sale, and I recommend you do the same, as these won't be at a discount for much longer. If this helped, if this gave you some recommendations, or if this showed you some of the games that you haven't really seen before, but you think you might pick up in the sale, remember to hit that subscribe button. But until then, I will see you in the next one.